Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here, your particularly motarded individual today. That's right, Marine Corps combat veteran Adam Kokesh wearing his silly visual aid to make a fun point in this video. Yes, for those of you that don't know, I was in Fallujah in 2004 with the United States Marine Corps. Uh, and I love making the joke uh, about the stupid look on my face that explains everything and how you can tell I was in the Marine Corps. But I get stopped, you know every day that I'm out and about from someone saying, thank you for your service. And I, I just, I have to, I have to share with you, for those of you who are veterans especially, um, oh, really for everybody, uh, whether you're a veteran or a non-veteran who buys into the military propaganda bullshit or a non-veteran who doesn't, you'll appreciate this video. Actually, uh, that's, that's being a little bit narrow. If you're a human being who cares about peace and freedom and, you know, um, not getting killed at random by a drone strike bomb falling out of the sky, whatever. Yeah. Just if you care about freedom, love, peace, harmony, if you're a human being, any of these things, you're going to appreciate today's video. So people stop me on the street all the time to say, thank you for your service. And it's probably because I walk around going like this. Uh, saluting the flag wherever I see it and uh, saying things like, Oorah! 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 And uh, good to go! Good to go, devil dog! Yeah, things like that. And um, No, I, I, don't, I don't do that. But I do have... Um, I do have a proper military appearance, despite the beard. A lot of people think just having, you know, neat trimmed haircut. Oh, it's a little longer than it's been in the past. That that's, that's the giveaway. I have this, this big tattoo. For those of you who just uh, haven't seen this, it says, yeah, for those who fight for it, Life has a special flavor, the protected, never know, USMC. And by the way, the follow-up sister tattoo to that one, Rock Veterans Against the War, when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And that is, at least in this form, attributed to Jimi Hendrix, although there are several versions of this quote out there, and this is just my favorite wording that I decided to get tattooed on my body. So, um... I guess, I guess I should point out, I have one other, yeah, three, well, all of my tattoos are essentially military related. The other one is this Freedom logo here that is now all the way across my back, but just, this is important for today's video to make this point. This is my memorial tattoo, and it says, some gave all for nothing. Sorry about the, the poor shot there, but uh, it's, it's, to me, it's really important to recognize that the, uh, the Marines who died in, in Iraq uh, died for nothing. And, but you know what? Even that's not true because they didn't die for nothing. There was a reason for the war in Iraq, and it was greed, money, power, and the evil of Dick Cheney. The lies, the deceit, all of the bullshit of the military-industrial complex that as always leads to poor men dying in rich men's wars because war is a racket, as Major General Smedley Butler said. So... When you understand all of that, how do you respond when someone says, oh, thank you for your service? Now, first, a little background on this. Um, thank you for your service. I don't mind being thanked for being willing to put my life on the line for what I believe in when what I believe in is protecting other people. I don't mind being thanked for being willing to risk my life to defend others. Uh, I think that's that's worth thanking someone for. Um, but that would be sort of a more, hey, veterans, thanks for trying, because you kind of screwed up by joining the U.S. military if protecting people was your intent. Because having a military makes us less safe. The American founders were right. Having a military is actually un-American. Believe it or not, the American founders were against the idea of a standing army because they knew that a free people, the only legitimate defense they could have was a militia and that a military was a violent monopoly that has all the consequences of any monopoly. So uh, it's really tough for a lot of veterans to, to face this question, thank you for your service, because it feels weird, you know, to have smoke blown up your butt for like, not just no good reason, but for bad reasons. Like, you just helped kill a bunch of innocent people and Americans go, hey, thanks, you're why the world hates us, yay! And it's, it was maddening, right? So when you understand that we were serving bankers and politicians and war profiteers, 
how do you respond to this question? Thank you for your service. But first, before I really finally get to the, the answer for that question for today's video, I want to point out to the, uh, to the Americans who still do this, who still say, thank you for your service. Uh, you're part of the reason there are 20 veterans committing suicide every day in America. Yeah, you. And I know it's this microaggression of saying thank you for your service. But no, what the, the problem with this is, is that it's helping veterans suppress and deny the painful reality of their deployments. That's what leads to suicide. I mean, yeah, a lot of different ways of describing that and analyzing that. But from my experience, and I had a, a friend uh, commit suicide relatively recently who was a veteran. And um, he struggled with this a lot. And, and not being able to talk about it openly and directly. And it's, it's really hard when, like, you know that you just did something really freaking evil. Evil! Torturing people, killing innocent people, or even if you were just, like, a mechanic or, you know, a driver or whatever. You know that you were an accessory to these crimes, that you helped support them. So... When you thank a veteran for their service, you're not you're not alleviating the pain because the pain comes from denial. Your showing of appreciation is freaking hollow. It's bullshit. And the veterans who you say thank you to your service, do they know this? They're not. Oh, oh, this person really appreciates me as a person. Life is good, and and I don't have to worry about my PTSD anymore because someone said thank you for your service. That's not how it works. And your denial that you are engaging in by going out and saying thank you for your service to everyone like that's that's not helping and and i would make the case and maybe it's not significant i don't know i think that's hurting the problem so one of the reasons i'm making this video right now is to empower veterans to think that when someone says thank you for your service you have a great opportunity to correct some dangerously anti-american thinking and when people tell me, thank you for your service, I mean, of course, it depends on the circumstance. You know, sometimes I'll just, if I'm in a hurry, it's just like, give them a look and, you know, all right. Um, or, or, but even then, that's kind of missing the opportunity because you always have a second to say, please don't thank me for serving bankers, politicians, and war profiteers in an act of evil. You know, just have something that you can rattle off like that. But when someone is genuinely thanking you for your service, like that's coming from a, a, a good place in them. You know, it, it genuinely, I think, for most Americans, as much as it comes from ignorance or is made possible by ignorance and lies and propaganda, it comes from a place of love. And, and we should respect that and receive that and be, uh, you know, welcoming of the good sentiment behind that, at least. And when there is a good sentiment... You know, you can, and, and you have the opportunity, you know, if you're sitting down next to someone on an airplane or a bus or, you know, in, in a situation like that where you have a few minutes, you can say, hey, can I, can I explain something about that? Can I, can I tell you like what, what my service was really all about? Can I, can I tell you what it meant to me? Can I tell you like what I learned from my time in, in Iraq or Afghanistan or just in the military in general and, and what I'd like you to know as an American about the reality of the military. I mean, that's huge. That's a huge opportunity. So like, don't give that up. And it, you know, if you have that opportunity as a veteran, uh, when we live in a world where we have to, as Mary J. Ruwert said, heal our world in an age of aggression, there's a very special role for military veterans, for the enforcers of the state's violence, for uh, those of us who have done violence on behalf of government to come out and say it was wrong and we should stop doing it. So, yeah, as much as it's kind of offensive for me to hear, thank you for your service, I, I just love the opportunity that it represents. And I'm just going to close out this video by showing some appreciation myself because I definitely don't mind when people say thank you for your activism as a form of service to humanity. And I always like to joke when, uh, when I've got a server, like at a, like a, a, a waiter or waitress, like at a, at a establishment of, of serving a food or drink or whatever, thank you for your service, just to make a joke out of it and point that out. But for those of you who are activists like me, who are similarly motivated by a deep-seated sense of injustice and are truly righteously going out to make the world a better place, thank you for your service. Mwah.
Peace, love, and freedom.